Hey guys, today we're in the shop and we're gonna show you how to shorten the handlebars on your dirt bike. This process can also be applied to mountain bikes and ATVs as well. Now there's a couple different benefits you're gonna get from this. Number one, and the more obvious reason, is gonna be for the woods riders. Maybe you need to gain a little bit of clearance to get in between the trees without snagging on anything. So that's gonna allow you to do that. But something that's often overlooked is the width of the handlebars and how it affects the handling of the bike. So for the motocross guys, you know, taller guys, they might like a wider bar because they have a bigger wingspan and shorter guys, they might like a more narrow bar just because they have a more narrow wingspan and that's gonna give them more comfort. So those are some of the benefits you can get from shortening your bars. It's pretty simple to do, so let me show you how. To do this job, I'm gonna use the Tusk Handlebar Saw Guide. Now, I don't wanna mess my handlebars up and that's why I'm using this. It guides your hacksaw blade so you get a straight and clean cut every time. Now, if you wanna improvise, you can use some pipe cutters, but typically they don't cut through the bars all the way, especially on these thicker aluminum bars. So you're gonna to have to finish it off with the hacksaw anyway. And again, this is just gonna be a much cleaner way to do the job and you know you're doing it right. Now with that, you can also use this tool in a vise to cut your bars beforehand. The first step is to prep your bars. So if you're replacing them, make sure they're mounted up in your clamps. But if you're doing this on an older bike, you wanna make sure you have your hand guards and your grips out of the way. Now that we have our bars prepped, we need to determine how much we wanna trim off of each end of our bar. So the widest that handlebars typically come is gonna be about 32 inches and the narrowest that you ever really wanna trim these down would be down to 30 inches, but usually people are gonna be somewhere in between. So woods riders, a lot of them, they're gonna go with a 31 inch wide handlebar once it's trimmed down. And motocross guys typically are gonna go about 31 and a half inches. Now again, this is all personal preference and you can always take more width off. So we're gonna start small. We're just gonna start with 10 millimeters on the end of our bar. We're gonna mark that out and then trim it off of each side. Now some bars, they're gonna come with markings already and you can just simply use those. And there's one instance that you're not gonna to wanna to do any cutting. So there's a few bars out there that they have carbon fiber in them and they'll have a warning label on them. So just be aware of that, keep an eye out for it, but typically you're gonna be able to cut your bars. Now with my bars marked, all I need to do is line up the groove in my guide with my mark and then make my cut. I'm gonna go ahead and set this in place. And these are available on our website if you need one, by the way. But I'm gonna line that groove up with the mark and tighten it down using a five millimeter Allen. Now that we're lined up, the blade goes right into the guide. We'll cut straight through. So once you've cut all the way through, you can remove the guide and then you can either use some emery cloth or a small file and clean up any rough edges and then do those same steps on the other side. Now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and hop on the bike and see how everything feels. So from right here, if it still feels too wide, you can go ahead and trim it down a little bit more. But again, a little bit goes a long way. So you might wanna actually go ride this first. So once you have this where you want it, you just wanna clean the handlebar end off, reinstall your grips and anything else you took off and make sure you get those levers adjusted up as well. And that's all there is to cutting down the handlebars on your dirt bike. If you have any questions about this process, leave those down in the comments below. Now, if you need the saw guide or handlebars for your bike, those are available on our website. We offer free shipping on orders over $75. So you're gonna to wanna to take advantage of that. And if you wanna stay up to date on our latest content, then you're gonna to wanna to subscribe to our channel. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Thanks for watching.